look at that. This this is why Jason and I did not do this one ourselves. This is what expert work looks like. Hey everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are out at Outlaw Metalworks in Sepulpa, Oklahoma to get a little bit more work done on the old red tornado back here. If you follow the channel, then you know we've already done a little bit of work on it with a 3-4 Belltech drop kit. Would you look at that? Sitting real low. But today we are doing more suspension work. Now you might notice that Jason is not here. Unfortunately, since it is a Thursday at about 9 a.m., he has to work and go mind the shop. So it's just me here today. With all that in mind, let's talk about what it is we're doing out here and what's gonna be happening to the truck. As I mentioned, we had already put the Belltech 3-4 drop kit on it this year. It sits really nice, nice and low, but we got a bit of a rake and I'm looking to level this thing out. Let's take a look. As you can see here, front's sitting pretty low, very little fender gap. From about fender to the ground, this is 28 inches. And then over here in the rear, you can see it's much higher. It's sitting at about 30 and a half. So out here at Outlaw Metalworks, we got Eric and his brothers getting ready to pull the bed off so we can do a C-notch and a flip kit and bring the back of this down just a little bit lower. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, we've only been riding on the 3-4 kit for barely a year, but it took no time for me to feel like, you know what, we need to go lower. So these guys are gonna get the red tornado ready, get the bed off the back and start going to work on the frame. Let's go take a look at what they're doing. We got Alonzo down here, starting to take things apart, getting us going. Eric and Victor getting the parts together because in addition to doing the flip kit, uh, we also have to take the fancy perch and shackle we put on the rear here with the Belltech kit off and put the stock components back on. But we do have brand new uh, shackles and perches right there to put on so we won't be putting those rusty old pieces on again like so, so you're actually gonna cut and weld yeah we the just c notch the so this so this is like this is you're going the the full the whole way here not just using some prepped piece you're making the piece from scratch yeah we make them ourselves here we got the templates we trace them out and cut them out dude that is aw <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> I mean, we have a plasma cutter, but we're still not that good at it, so yeah. hey. we use the grinder. Once we get good, we'll, we'll throw all that away. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, hey, let me tell you, this is legit. There's a reason we came here, because uh, Jason and I are not welding experts at all. Uh, and we were talking about doing one of them bolt-on kits, but then we saw some of your examples of what can happen. Oh, yeah. If you load them up, the, they're not going to last. They don't hold up. What did you call it? Banana frame? Banana frame, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is what you get. That's what the truck looks like. <laughs> load it up and the frame bends. Yeah, yeah. So in, in an effort to avoid crappy work from us trying to do it ourselves, that's why we're here. So we know you guys are going to kill it. As I had mentioned, we got our man Eric here. Been the dude I've been talking to. Eric, tell me a little bit about your shop. Well, um, obviously, this is Eric. Uh, I'm the welder here, I'm trying to get my little brothers to follow the same path, I guess. He's a welder too, but he doesn't like welding. <laughs> uh, he does most of the mechanic work here. So. Most of it? Okay. So that, that's why he's over here, yeah. the only one pulling the bed off yeah. the yeah. truck. Okay. All right. So, and you guys uh, all own the shop together? Yeah. yeah. Equal parts. Uh, equal parts. Okay, cool. Well, li I, listen, you get, I've seen the work you guys done. I'm excited to get this going. So I will quit distracting you and let you guys get to oh, it. You're good. Let's get to the action here. All right. All right. So they're about to lift. 
truck bed up off of the truck. Hey, get somewhere I'm out of the way. And here's what it'll look like if I ever do one of the uh, truck bed hydraulic systems. <laughs> So now that the truck bed is off, they gotta straighten it out and bring it on in so they can uh, work on this frame. Alright, so at this point guys, you got the, uh, the truck bed off. You got the back up on the uh, on the uh, jack stands here. What is uh, the game plan? We're gonna take the wheels off, and then from there we're gonna take the shocks off, take shackles off. Pretty much start tearing it all apart. Tearing tearing it all apart. So, all th so then I'm I'm guessing then the goal it, before you ever start cutting or anything is gonna be to uh, get these these get like all the suspension stuff essentially ready as if it was yeah. the stock suspension, and then start cutting into yeah. it. Yeah, oh. we're gonna get the flip kit in, your stock hangers back on, your shackle, stock shackle back on, and then after that, then we'll install the C notch. Hell yeah. All right. Well guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna quit bothering you and I'll just watch. I'm excited. Then we got Eric over here killing it on this uh custom C notch that he's putting together. Hand built, guys. Legit. Alright guys, so we're about 10 minutes in here and these guys are already just going to town on this thing ripping it apart and getting ready to put the flip kit and the c notch on it as you saw we had eric in there cutting up all the pieces getting it ready to actually put the c notch kit together because it's made from scratch which is pretty awesome um but i came out here because i seem to keep getting in the way so i'm gonna let these guys uh do what they do best which is kill it on these trucks and uh, we're just gonna sit back and watch. Here we go.
So I guess we're going eight, is, is what this means, right? Well, it was, yeah, it's so, well, all right. All right, so here's the deal, folks. I guess they're checking on parts, but what we had to do, as I was mentioning, was replace these guys with the stock versions because these are the bell tech versions for the original drop kits so in order for the kit to go six inches down instead of eight inches down we have to have those stock hangers on there so they're working on uh seeing if they can find any uh worst case scenario looks like we're gonna do eight inches instead of six so we'll see how it goes well since we've determined that these hangers are gonna stay they are moving forward with putting on the stock shackles right here and then they're gonna throw those leaf springs back on and uh we're gonna see how low this thing's gonna go i'm not gonna lie guys secretly i really wanted to do a yeah but now i can say look i, have an excuse. I didn't have a choice yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the truck won't start if it's not this low. Yeah, I know, right? It's better for the aerodynamics. Yes. We're going to get better wind, we're gas, mileage. gas mileage. There we go. That extra two inches will make the difference. <laughs> Over here, trying to tell me this, this doesn't look good. Guys, look. Right here, you see this? Beautiful. And this guy's still... Oh, I would have called it beautiful. That's, that's pretty... As regular welds for a welder. Regular weld? Well, nonetheless, <laughs> this is like a thousand times better than what it would have looked like if Jason and I were doing it. This right here. This is why we came to you. <laughs> you can see now they have actually raised the axle back up because the leaf spring, rather than sitting right here on top, is now going under the axle. Hence the name flip kit. And just like that, the axle is now flipped onto the other side of the leaf springs. Definitely, definitely uh, did that in record time, guys. That was awesome. <laughs> nice and tight. Perfect. Yeah, let me get out of the way. <laughs> uh, obviously for you guys, that was like a couple of minutes, but literally I've been here maybe an hour and these guys have already got the C-notch made from scratch. I will mention that yet again and the flip kit on. So uh, pretty fast work over here at Outlaw Metal Works. We're getting to the serious business now. Eric's uh, sizing up this custom made C notch so he knows where he's gonna have to cut on the frame. We're gonna cut a lip so we can slide the notch in there. And we won't cut the frame until after everything is welded on. Then we'll just cut this up, but that'll just be scrapped and there won't be any uh, structure issues. Like it won't bend or anything. Cause oh, it'll I got be solid it. after it's welded. Yeah, so, you, so you're putting it on there, getting it all stable and solid first, and then going well, back yeah. and cutting. And then the last piece is just a stiffener, basically. Oh, I got you. Just Dude, that's out. legit. So at this point, you can see they've got the notches ready to go. This one's cleaned up, ready to get welded. Eric's over there welding that one right now. We got Vic back here getting ready to make the uh, stabilizing pieces that are gonna go under the C notch. So it's, uh, it's coming together and looking pretty good. I'm just gonna keep letting these guys work.
let's get a good look at this here. So C notch, all in, welded up and painted. Look at that. See those welds? Let's try to get this to focus. Look at that. This this is why Jason and I did not do this one ourselves. This is this is what expert work looks like. And here's the uh, pre-painted other side all done. Look at that. Beautiful. And Vic's about to come up here paint this one, then they're going to slap the wheels and the shocks back on, put the bed on and then drop it. Woo, hey. Let's bring this around here. <laughs> low, low. That is so low. Like, it is so low. I love it. Guys, this is fantastic. Yeah, you're gonna need a shock. On that side? Yeah, at least, at least one. That one's usually maxed out all the time. So, this shock is uh, looking good. We got plenty of travel there. Uh, this guy though, pretty maxed out, so we'll probably replace him, but you know what? All worth it in the end. Look at this. Look at this. God, you guys, you guys killed it. This is, I'm extremely excited already. So at this point, they just gotta pull it forward a bit and then they're gonna get the uh, truck bed on and we'll pull it out of the garage and see how it looks. All right, guys, here it is, all finished up. They're pulling it out of the shop right now. Let's get a look at how this thing is uh, sitting. Oh boy. <laughs> You thought it was low before. It is certainly low now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh boy, it is so low. <laughs> there it is. All done. We need, yeah, we need to bring it down in the front another inch, an inch. at least an inch. That'll be that'll be next uh, on the project list for sure. Uh, guys, for real, like, thanks for letting me come out here to Outlaw Metalworks and Sepulpa and watch you guys do your thing. Like I like I was telling you throughout the day, like I've heard heard a bunch about you guys. I've definitely seen a lot of the trucks. Like this is this is legit and you guys did this in like two hours so that's like that's phenomenal guys thanks a lot thank you outlaw metalworks facebook you, guys we're gonna get in this thing get on out of here head back to town get it cleaned up i think we might actually have to go swing by evans automotive and get jason to uh, give us an opinion on uh, what he thinks so all right let's get out of here so we made it back uh just pulling into the shop evans automotive right now Figured show off the changes uh, made to the truck to Jason and uh, see what he thinks. So let's get in there. Let's see what's up. Okay, I think it's slammed. All right. There ain't gonna be no more running metal to the scrap yard. Yeah, this uh, this truck definitely won't be doing that. Oh, pardon us. He said there is no more scrap yard hauling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you looking at? Looking at it. Oh, dude, it's impressive. They did some really good work. Definitely, definitely need those drop spindles for the front now. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get the uh, Jason Evans uh, seal of approval here. <laughs> You know, Three, once four. you drop your front, your other two inches, you're gonna scrape going into your driveway. Well, I already scraped going into the driveway, so. Not even really. Yeah, yeah, now it'll just be a little more scraping. I'll have to take a little more of a extreme angle. Okay, I don't think it's gonna matter what angle you take. <laughs> now 
he's not. He literally doesn't have a single car he can drive out to my house anymore. I could still drive this. I'm just going to go a lot slower. <laughs> Significantly slower. All right, guys. Well, we got the uh, Jason Evans stamp of approval. Obviously, we have a little bit more work to do now. Uh, bring the front down a little bit more to level it out. But hey, this thing... This thing is looking awesome. Big shout out to the guys at Outlaw Metalworks. They killed it, did a great job. Fantastic guys to hang out with. Definitely check them out if you're looking to get something like this done. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so you can keep up with all the fun stuff like this we're doing. You'll see a lot more of the Red Tornado back here as well as some other stuff coming up. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.